Dirty Harry again with another one of my famous suspense-filled Dirty Harry thrillers. And the star of the thriller today is an Evan X 22 caliber 6-shot AR-6 pistol. The AR-6 combo comes with a BSA 220 pistol scope and also um, AccuShot medium profile scope rings. It also comes with two magazines and the nice thing about these magazines is that you can either load a short 14 grain pellet or you can load a long 40 grain .223 bullet with no problem. And it comes with a lockable lightweight aluminum case which is just perfect to keep everything you need plus a very handsome gun. Now the pistol is very convenient to load. You simply rotate the dust cover on the front of the reservoir until the loading port is exposed and then you slide in the probe and it's ready to fill. Now you do have to rely on the tank gauge to know how much air is in the gun because the gun does not come with a gauge. On each end of the magazine is a ball bearing front and back and on the gun there's these two little notches right here that align with these ball bearings. So when you're ready to load it you simply take it up and line it up with those two notches and give it a little push and it's self-indexing and it's ready to shoot. After releasing the uh, safety by pushing it forward, you can fire the AR-6 pistol in one of two modes. You can either just pull the trigger, or you can pull the hammer back and shoot it one shot at a time. So let's take the AR-6 pistol out and see what kind of accuracy it has and what kind of power it has. Now to perform a, an accuracy test on the AR-6 pistol, what I've done here is I've locked it down in a P3 Ultimate gun vise so it can't go anywhere and we're going to uh, run a series of pellets through it to um, show you uh, what the results are. Okay, for the Beam and Bear Club pellets, those are 14.2 grain pellets. Uh, if we measure from the outside of this hole to the inside of this hole, center on center, we get a group of 15 sixteenths of an inch or 24 millimeters.
Okay, now then, for the uh, 28.4 grain onions, we've got a group of 11 sixteenths of an inch if I measure from the outside of this hole to the inside of this hole, or 17 millimeters. Okay then, uh, measuring from the inside of this hole to the outside of this hole, we get a group of a half inch or 13 millimeters using these uh, Sam Yang or Ungen 32 grain pellets. Now then, measuring from the outside of this hole to the inside of this hole right here with these Daystate High Impact 40 grain .223 bullets, uh, we get a, a group of 5 eighths of an inch or 17 millimeters. <laughs> 